Howdy. Welcome to the Swiss Alps. This happened, I'm not really sure, yesterday. Rockfall in the Swiss Alps. Let's have a look at that. Yes. <laughs> it seems to be sunny there. We are in the half of the video, so we might let it. I will put a link below, you can watch that. That's somehow very bad quality. But, let's take a look at that. So here we are on Google Earth. That's the Eugenen Lake. And I assume Southwestern they were talking about. It's this region. I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's this region where the rocks are coming down. If you know better, please tell me. Let's have a look at some pictures of the place itself. <coughs> we can see very nice layering. We have waterfalls in the background. There's at least two, one, two. There might be a third one. And that's the whole thing watched from a little bit more far away. Let's put the pictures away so we can see a bit better. Oberbergliebach Wasserfallen. There is a waterfall as well here on the other side. There are interesting features. And I'm, I think the rockfall is in this area. This has been closed since 2019. This is obviously the waterfall they were talking about. Hmm. Very interesting, this mark here. Yeah, this doesn't lead anywhere here. Yeah, here we can see. Here we can see some more of this layering. Like almost horizontal. And if you zoom in here. Uh -huh. Here in close, you can see there has been some different kinds of sediment layered in between those other layers. due to the, their weight and electromagnetic properties. And here we have a waterfall. Here we have green and here we have ice. I think that's very important to know or to notice because there are many of those parts in the Alps where is where you find those icy patches all around the year. Maybe not this year, since it's <laughs> rather hot in the Alps. All right, now check it out. That's Oeschingersee. Here is probably the place where we have the rock falls going on. Dolderhorn. Plumis Alphorn. Wilde Frau, the wild woman. This doesn't have a name. 
Thunderhorn. Yeah, I have to apologize, I'm not too well informed about this now, under which mountain it has been. Let's read an article, maybe we are wiser after that. I was some... I was doing some screenshot work. <laughs> That's the original screenshot, and I was translating them with Google Lens, so don't blame me. I know my English is sketchy. But blame Google if there's something funny. Kandersteg, which is the village down there. Medium to heavy rockfall expected at Öschinense within a week. The situation has not calmed down after the rockfall at Lake Öschinen. The municip municipality of Kandersteg reports that a large rock mass is in motion. This is the video we try to watch. 10,000 cubic meters of rock fell down. That's what it's about. Since 2019, the southwestern side of Lake Öschinen has been closed due to the risks, risk of rockfalls. <clears throat> the risks of rockfalls. <laughs> Around 10,000 cubic meters of rock broke off on Tuesday and thundered into the valley. The municipality of Kandersteg is now reporting that there is still movement on the slope. Around 500,000 cubic meters are currently moving at 20 centimeters per day. It is highly probable that there will be a moderate or severe rockfall within a week. A day after the rockfall on Lake Öschinen, in which around 10,000 cubic meters of rock thundered into the valley, the municipality of Kandersteg warns on its website. The debris slide at the Stai peak as X has accelerated sharply since Tuesday. 500,000 cubic meters of rock are at the speed of 20 kilometers per day. No. Centimeters per day. Centimeters per day. In motion, such high deflections have not been seen there before. Never, probably. That's a map. And the red one is big danger. The current hazard map for the affected zone in municipality of Kandersteg. Strong event, 60 to 95% probability. I would say that's a rather big percentage. 95. And the fall of large volumes of rubble from the central landslide cannot be ruled out for the next. Maybe we have to watch the next one because that's too funky. Next few days, the permanent exclusion zone since 2019 at the southwest end of the lake is now given the high danger level. As can be seen in the table below, major means that an event of strong intensity is probable, and an event of medium intensity is probable to very probable. This in turn means within the next week an event of strong intensity will happen with a probability of 60 to 95 percent and an event of medium intensity will with a probability of 60 to 100 percent in the case of a strong event the affected zone low low chances of escape possible reading danger also in buildings and the destruction of buildings <clears throat> Low possibilities of escape, possible danger of death also in buildings and the destruction of buildings. Within the red zone there is only one house, the so-called Holzspiecher. 
Yeah. Don't be in a brown area. This is how the danger levels are defined. Possible, significant, cross, very large. Yeah. That's a very nice map. The considerable level now applies to the shore area directly outside the permanent exclusion zone. The danger level, considerable, also applies in the direction of inhabited areas. Along the Öschibach, further down dams, marked in blue on the map, protect outskirts of the municipality. I cannot spell the word municipality. Did you notice? I bet you did. According to the current hazard map, the risk of the rockfall coming further down the Öschibach is considerable. That means a probability of 20 to 60 percent for a strong or moderate event. The fact that the rockfall reached the two dams directly in front of Kandersteg is currently considered unlikely. Too little likely, 0 to 20 percent. The next situation assessment will follow early Thursday morning, earlier if necessary. In the lower central area of the steep Steiflang middle of the picture, a large amount of rocks is in motion. Yes, so this is how it looks. It seems to be quite white. In the lower central area of the steep flank. Steiflank. Yeah, let's see if we can find that on Google Earth. But here is the final sentence. Or however you call it. The Urschinensee is considered a tourist hotspot. In summer, the hiking trails strong from Kandersteg to the lake visited. Strong. The mountain panorama with the lake is a popular subject on Instagram. <laughs> From the Öschinensee leads a steep hiking trail up to the Blümnisalphütte SAC. Back on the map. So the Blümnisalp. Let's put it up north. The Blümnisalp has been here somewhere. I just saw it before. Blümnisalphorn. Southwest. Must be somewhere here, I guess. Yeah, it might be this region as well. A little bit hard to say. But... No good thing. There could be coming quite some water from the lake. This is the Utsicht op Kandersteg, Öschinenbach. Yeah, this is the stream they were talking about. Waterfall. Mountain water all over the place. Kander. Hmm. Mukkasili. The Mosquito Lake. Seems to be, in a way, peatish. Yeah, actually, I should probably try to continue my peat paper. Maybe this. <laughs> Maybe this worth continuing. I don't know yet. There's so much things going on all the time. Let's have a look at the top of that. Dolderhorn. 
Golden Horn Glacier. There's glaciers. Who would have expected this? There is something going on here. I don't know how old those or these pictures are. They might be two years old or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's a very interesting feature. I don't know if that's... I would say that's rock. That's not ice. It could be ice as well. Maybe it's ice. I'm talking about this structure here. Which has these features. Which seems... Or which seem there is something coming out and it's much wider than the surroundings. So that's maybe something very important to understand what this structure is. This might be the very source of an ancient glacier, a crypto gaze here. There might be more of these starting points of glaciers up here, like really at the flank of the mountain. Yeah, this doesn't work. Nesthorn. Yeah, a little bit difficult to navigate, but that's also a very interesting feature. So we have to keep following the happenings in Switzerland, in the Swiss Alps. A big rockfall is upon us. And maybe this very structure has something to do with that. Hmm, very interesting. Maybe it's also over here. Do we have something over here? From interest. That's just a shadow, I guess. But it seems to be blue. That's why it zoomed in. Here we have something similar. There seems to be coming something out there, out of the glacier, from underneath. Yeah, here as well. It's cracking all over the place. Yeah, there could be coming quite much down. Like, just think of it, if there would be a rock fall down, downhill, so to say, below this glacier, Only the vibrations alone from a rock fall. Mm. If the rock fall is somewhere here and it's going down, the vibrations, they could trigger something coming down from much higher. Water or something. Ice. First ice and then water. Very interesting to follow.
there's so many, many, many interesting features. Like here you can see this kind of, these kind of shapes here. I don't know if that's on the ice, if that's ice, if this is rock, if this is gravel, hard to say from this perspective. But there are large boulders as well. They might have come down from higher above, broke off. When water got between them and then it froze over and it split them off. And there is also this kind of discolored ice. The friendly glacier. The glacier of friends. And there is also some connection visible between those two structures. Here is something and here we have this kind of stream. Let's see where it goes. This looks like an icy waterfall. Maybe there is a waterfall as well. There are many waterfalls in the Alps. Mountain water, crypto geysers. And for those who never heard about it, I think glaciers are contemporary lava streams made out of water. Hence, every mountain which carries a glacier or molten glacier, hence a lake. Do we have any lakes here? Let me show you just one. A lake on top of a mountain. I think they will erupt in a way there is there will be much war coming out in a short of time short amount of time and many are many people might be surprised about that this is one reason I make these videos I try to warn people I just wanted to show you one thing. We were somewhere over here. Damn. Over here. And here we have Loik. And here we have the Ilhorn. I made videos about the Ilhorn. And the Ilgraben and the very massive mud flows or whatever, how they are called. And now we are again back in the Alps once again. Is this the lake, Oceanen Lake? Yes, it is. We are waiting for a very big rockfall. Let's zoom out in Ilhorn. So now let's make one final thing. That's the lake where we are waiting for the rockfall and that's the Ilhorn with the Ilgraben and the massive mud flow. So let's measure the approximate distance between those two places. Because I want to show you that they aren't too far away. 27 kilometers. So that's not far. Within the same mountain range, there is like so much stuff going on. But anyway, I leave it here. Thanks. Bye.